Game one of this West playoffs have now reached the fourth quarter. Mesquite leading Yakima 94-87, trying to break a four-game losing streak to Yakima overall and win their first playoff game in franchise history. Yakima ball after winning the tip at the beginning of the game. Graham, lob pass into Duncan, but it's tipped and thrown away. Lloyd saves it. TC through traffic, and that's tipped, but we got a whistle, and it's a foul called from behind. It's going to be Robert Duncan called with the hit from behind. His fourth. He's really the only man in Yakima's colors with any assemblage of foul trouble. Jonathan Lloyd, Dominic Schuler, TC, Stevie McCall, and Deshaun Brown. And a whistle, and that's going to be an offensive foul. TC bowling over Duncan there. Good gamble pays off for Duncan. Would have been either his fifth foul or... Drive by Graham, finishes high off the glass and knocks it in through contact. He'll try for a three-point play. Stevie McCall with the foul. And Graham will head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play and try to cut this back to a four-point game. Dogs have led by as many as 15 in the third quarter. Graham's free throw perfect. And we'll see if the playoff wisdom is going to play in Yakima's favor. Lloyd bouncing off. Angle jumper from 15 hits the mark. Nice answer. Lead back up to six. Dogs need a couple of defensive stops in a row. Graham thought about the three. Zips it over to Shuck. Lobs it into Conrad. Conrad lowers his shoulder, misses the shot short. Schuler picks up the rebound. McCall drives off the glass, can't get it to go, but he's fouled. The whistle called against Graham, just his first tonight for Yakima. Mentioned the story from Coach Magley, the one of the leaders of this TBL, talking about Jonathan Lloyd. He talked with Jonathan Lloyd's team owner of the NBL team up in Canada. They asked him, how long did it take for Jonathan Lloyd to take over as the team leader? The coach's response was, day one, he didn't know where he was. Day two, he got warm. And after day three, Jonathan Lloyd was the, was the leader of the team. Not surprising. After what he's done here for now two seasons as a member of the Desert Dogs. McCall knocks down both of his free throws. Lead up to eight, 98 to 90. Graham slips down, but able to get the pass off. Shuck, whistle, and TC is going to be called for the reach-in. Fourth on Tyron Criswell. Criswell looks up and says, yeah, I've got four fouls now. Okay. Yakima's going to bring in a sub, and it'll be their leading score returning. Jackson Trapp coming in for Godfrey. Trapp's got 29. Leading score in the game is TC with 30. Graham off the curl. Gets away from Stevie over to Shuck. Wants to drive in, lowers the shoulder, off balance, left hand ball, no good, and we've got a shot clock violation. It didn't hit any of the rim. One referee saying it hit the rim, the other one's going to say it didn't. It didn't look like it hit anything to me. And it's going to be Mesquite Ball after what will be a shot clock violation. So dogs leading by eight. 10-23 left and a chance to build it back up to double digits after Yakima once again got it down to four. TC bounce pass to Lloyd. Lloyd hand off to Deshaun Brown. Turns the corner and flushes the lead back to ten. Sean Brown's sixth point gets the Dogs to 100 and lead back up to 10. 
On the dead ball, Ronaldo Major will come back in for Jason Conrad, or no. Horn came off, Major wanted to slyly check in, and the referees said, eh, not so much. Two minutes gone in this fourth quarter. Dogs leading by 10. Graham, after the long screen for three, is good. After not scoring in the first half, he's got 10 so far here in the quarters, three and four combined. Lead is seven, 193 for Mesquite. TC are off the curl, working against Graham, comes off a Schuler screen, drives, kicks back over the top. McCall to Lloyd. Lloyd lost the handle. It's last touched off of Yakima. The Dogs will have three to work on the possession. Ronaldo Major now officially in, checking in for Jason Conrad. Three quick seconds here for Jonathan Lloyd, baseline. Bounces a pass, turnaround jumper for John Brown, long. TC fighting for the rebound, it's tipped to Brent Shuck of Yakima. Graham, quick push but slows it down near the three-point line. Robert Duncan also back in for Yakima. Working against Stevie McCall. Had a tip but recovered. 10 left on the possession for Yakima. Graham, whistle. It's going to be Jonathan Lloyd called for a push through the screen. That's something the referees have been calling all night. Third team foul. Two real emphasis points. Pushing through defensively on the screens and then freedom of movement in the paint. Shuck fires a three over the top. It's short. Schuler. Spider-Man's up for the rebound. Nine minutes left to go. Dogs leading by seven. Lloyd, jumper a little short. Schuler over the top of Major. Trying to hold on to it. Still loose on the floor, and Yakima picks it up after the scrum. Over to Major. Nothing on the right side. A wing. Shuck sets the screen. Graham drives, finds nothing. Hands it off to Trap for a three in the corner. And that is good. So I think we're going to count the three. And now there's going to be a foul underneath. Referees conferring. Yar counting the basket for Jackson. Trap's 32nd point. Pivotal point here because it's down to four. And it's going to be a foul against the Desert Dogs. Loose ball foul against Jonathan Lloyd. Fifth foul. And the man who Lloyd fouled. He's going to head to the line for one, a potential four-point play. That man is Brent Shuck. Free throw, good. Fourth point for Shuck, and it's now 197. Yakima closing within three. Still eight and a half minutes left to go. Griswell holding it, trapping his face. Drop step. Drive, turn around, TC misses short. Ronaldo Major cleans up the rebound. Two to get within one or a three ball to tie this game. Duncan wants a screen. Doesn't get it trapped. Three ball for the tie. Falls to try to sell the foul. Not called. Criswell the long rebound. Stephen McCall surveying the lay of the land. Starts the attack with 11 on the shot clock. Straight away jumper. McCall knocks it home. Big jumper to push it back to a two possession lead. 102 97. Graham playing spectacular in that point guard role here in the second half. Major against McCall. Turn around. Stripped. Stolen away. Loose ball. Schuler down the middle of the floor. Drives in. Gets the roll. Somehow, someway. 104-97, two quick buckets 
Pushing a three-point lead back up to seven. Speaking of seven, we're at the seven-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Graham working against McCall. Jumper right over the top of him. Knocks it in. Solid one-on-one -on -one move. Got McCall back reeling on his heels. Squared up and just fired a nice jumper in from about 11 feet. Ball movement on the outside. Drive by Mitchell over the top. Gets the bucket. Wanted contact. Didn't get the whistle, but got the two points regardless. 106-99 Mesquite. Six and a half minutes left in the fourth. Zip over to Duncan right side. Playing the two guard. Drives it against Brown. Goes up. Bucket and the foul. Showing a little weight room action there. So give Duncan his first two points of the fourth quarter to get him to 19. And before he has a chance for a three-point opportunity, we've got a timeout on the floor. 6-12 left to go in regulation. Desert Dogs lead trimmed down to five. 106-101. Back for the closing of this fourth quarter in game one of the West playoffs. Back after this timeout. Game reset with 6-12 left to go in the fourth quarter. Dogs leading 106-101 over Yakima. Game one of the West Region or West playoffs in the TBL. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. Mesquite already putting Yakima into the bonus with that last foul. Yakima with only two team fouls. Duncan here to try to complete the three-point effort. It's missed. Batted out rebound. Saved by McCall after an initial Schuler tip. Just count the two for Duncan prior to the timeout. McCall straightaway three is well needed. 18 for Stevie McCall. 109-101. Graham drives in. Finger rolls it up and in. Graham having a spectacular fourth quarter already with 10. Mitchell drives in. Little Euro step no. Deshaun Brown can't get the put back. And Ronaldo Major clears up the rebound. Long range shot. Graham. Good. The hot hand for Yakima right now is Darius Graham. And it's back to a three point game. 109 106. 515 in the fourth. McCall. Baseline drive. Nothing there. Hands off to Schuler. Jumper inside the paint falls. Just the seventh point for Schuler. Triple ones across the board for Mesquite. 111 to 106. Graham stepped back. Long three. Air ball short. Jackson trapped the board on the air ball. They want to reset the shot clock. That hit nothing, but that hit the net. Trap drives in. Kicks. Corner three ball. Major. Good. One possession game. It's a two-point lead. 111 to 109. Schuler trying to back up against Major in the paint. Jumper good. Back-to-back -back paint shots for Dominic Schuler. Who's going to get that first key defensive stop? 4:15 left in the fourth. Duncan dribble penetrate kicks. Major looking again for three. In and out, tipped around. Who's going to get the rebound? It's Major. He loses the handle. It's tipped out by a Desert Dog defender. Ball remains with Yakima. Four minutes, two seconds left in the fourth. 
Inside battle off the glass, up and in. First field goal of the night for Stephen Battle. Picks up his fifth point. 113-111. Neither of the clock started, so they've got to determine. They're going to move it down to 359 on the game clock. Twenty on the shot clock. 359 is going to be put on the game clock from what we understand. 358 actually with that extra second ticked off. So under the four minute mark. This back and forth ball game. McCall looking for a Schuler screen. Over to Stewart. Baseline drive off the glass. And they're going to call an offensive foul. Duncan draws the charge. Mitchell's fifth, but player control will be no free throws. Darius Stewart will come back in for Deshaun Brown. Yakima has not had a lead in this ball game. Since 23-19 in the first quarter. They have a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Darius Graham the hot hand with 13 points in the fourth quarter. Shakes off a McCall for a second. Throws it to Jackson Trap. Drives against Stu, loses the handle, but gets it to Major in the corner for three. It's short, tipped out, and Mitchell's got a big rebound for Mesquite. 322 left in the four. Dogs leading by just two mere points. DC drives. Ball tipped, almost kept in bounds by Graham. Mesquite ball baseline with 10 on the shot clock. Long outlet. Long three from Mitchell. It is good! The triple's coming at the right time for Mesquite. Lead back up to five. Three minutes left to go. What a game one this has been. Major. Drives cut off. Comes back in the paint. Off the backboard, no good. Battle, rebound, won by Major. Floats it on the baseline and gets it to go. 24 for Major. 116-113. Mesquite leads by three with the ball. Stevie drives back door. Cut. Beautiful for Darius Stewart. His first bucket of the fourth quarter. 25 on the night. 118-113. Layup. Bucket. Good. By battle. There have been not many defensive stops. And we'll have a timeout called by Mesquite. Comes with 2.08 left in the fourth quarter. Mesquite 118. Yakima 115. Back after this timeout. Two oh eight left in the fourth quarter. And this back and forth fourth quarter battle continues on. Mesquite one eighteen, Yakima one fifteen. 
Tyron Criswell's got 30 for Mesquite. Darius Stewart with 25. <coughs> Both teams with two timeouts. <coughs> TC backdoor cut. Schuler. Duncan strips it and steals it. Over to Graham for three, and we are tied. One eighteen, one eighteen. Who wants it over this final minute fifty two? That's been the fantastic Darius Graham in this fourth quarter. Sixteen of his twenty coming in the fourth. Pass to TC, working against Battle. Bounce pass in. It's stolen away by Battle. Or pardon me, by Graham, who has been Mr. Everything for Yakima on the fourth. 90 seconds left in regulation. Schuler trying to steal it. And a timeout called by Paul Wolpert as Ronaldo Major was caught up near the sideline. 118. 118. Sun Kings using one of their two final timeouts. The Dogs need a defensive stop. Kind of needs to be right now. Score updated now on the Moritics Online game control. Two timeouts for Mesquite, one more for Yakima. The Dogs have to play not only solid defense, but not reaching and foul. They put Yakima into the bonus a while ago, while the Sun Kings have only committed three team fouls in the fourth. Dogs would like to head to Yakima tomorrow with the win here at home while the Sun Kings, who trailed by 15 at points in the third quarter, is trying to come on the road and steal game one. Long pass to battle. Trap, a three, looks good, and is short. Rebound for Schuler. Trap looked at it, thought it was online, and it was, but it was short. Minute 15 to go. Front row standing up. TC drives. Through contact, can't hold on, and it's lost off of Criswell's hands. Yakima ball. 108 left in regulation. Graham brings it across the timeline with 104 left. Major working against Criswell. And off to Graham. Drive by Graham, layup, good. 18 in the quarter for Graham. And Yakima's got their first lead since the first quarter. 120 to 118. And a whistle. Timeout called by Mesquite as McCall was trying to drive in. Sun Kings on a 7-0 run. And the Dogs are trying some way to stop this fourth quarter collapse. Back after this timeout with Yakima leading 120. 118.
After going into the fourth quarter down by seven, Yakima has outscored the Desert Dogs 33 to 24 in this fourth quarter. With 47 and four tenths left in the fourth. Dogs basketball trailing by two. Dogs fans trying to get their team to get some sort of bucket. Criswell's been quiet in this fourth quarter. Has a team high 30, but none in the fourth. And the call's got it. Angles from left to right. Bounce pass to TC. Seven left on the possession. Now five. TC drives. Finger roll. Got it. First bucket of the fourth quarter for Criswell. Even at 120. Seven seconds between shot and game clock. Yakima possession. Graham looking up. Major coming. McCall stays in front of Graham. Seven on the possession. Graham drives in. Blocked by Schuler. Out of bounds. Six remains on the possession. 12.7 left in regulation. And Yakima will have it baseline towards about halfway between the basket and the far corner. Graham will handle the inbound. Inbound. And out of bounds. Last touch by Mesquite, apparently. Two seconds off the clock, and Paul Wolpert's going to call for a timeout. They will burn their final timeout of regulation in a 120-120 stalemate. Stick with us, folks. These 11 seconds are going to be <laughs> fantastic. Setting up for a much dramatic finish here in game one of this West TBL playoff series. 120 to 120, Yakima basketball. Actually, they're going to change it to a sideline inbounds. Dogs have no timeout or no fouls to give. be Robert Duncan handling the sideline inbounds. Yakima with four seconds left on the possession. They get it into Major. Baseline. Jumper over the top. Good. 7.1 seconds. 26 point for Ronaldo Major. 122 to 120. And Mesquite's going to take their time out and advance the ball into the front court. So no timeouts left for either team. It's when you need a bucket despite Graham's fantastic fourth quarter. The veteran and Ronaldo Major Very solid, what, 13, 14 foot baseline jumper to give Yakima the lead. Now Yakima's got one foul to give if they so choose with only three team fouls. They haven't had one in the final two minutes either. So if they feel like Mesquite's got a easy path to the bucket or they feel defensively they're not set up where they want to be, they can give one foul and stop the clock and force Mesquite into coming up with another play. Criswell's got 32 to lead all scores with Jackson Trapp of Yakima. Really the main scoring threat in this quarter has been Stevie McCall. 
7.8 seconds, ball moved into the front court. And neither team with a timeout. Two ties, three wins. What's the philosophy? Inbound goes to McCall. Graham right on his hip pocket. McCall fouled before the act of shooting. Smart play for Yakima to take some time off the clock on Graham's second personal. And now 4.5 seconds. It'll be the same sideline inbounds for the Dogs. Shot clock turned off. Inbound to McCall with three, with two, three for the win. Off the back rim, no good. And Yakima comes back from 15 down in the third quarter and wins game one of this West playoff, 122 to 120. A good look for McCall. A great look for McCall. The buzzer goes a little long. And this series will now transition over to Yakima tomorrow night with the Sun Kings needing just one on their home floor over the next two nights to advance to the TBL Championship Series. Again, a final, Yakima 122, Mesquite 120. Leading scores for the victorious Sun Kings, Jackson Trapp with 32. Ronaldo Major, his game winner gives him 26. Darius Graham at 22, 18 of it coming in the fourth quarter. Robert Duncan finishes with 19.